The Honourable Member from Caribou, Prince George. Thank you, oh, Madam Speaker, sorry. and I appreciate uh, the opportunity to rise in the House again and ask the uh, Honourable Colleague across the way uh, this question. Um, again, uh, this government continues with confusion and, and shell game uh, that is really um, challenging Canadians to really uh, find a plan, as well as the, 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 uh, the official opposition as well, too. I guess I would like to ask, as I did earlier on, you know, the consultations. Can, can the member opposite please tell us the communities that uh, this government has gone into and uh, consulted Canadians, where the data that is coming from, now we hear it's 146,000, not 150,000, where that data is coming from, the geographic specific data, whether it's Canadian even. And, um, and the other part of it is, what does the plan call for in communities such as mine, Williams Lake, Prince George, Quesnel, Vanderhoof, that we can't have a high-speed transit line. It's a resource development community and riding, softwood lumber, mining, oil and gas. That's what matters. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of International Development. Thank you, and I again thank my colleague. And would like to reiterate that the Government of Canada is the Government of Canada. And when we think about consultations, we think about consulting the entire country. And when we talk about 146,000 Canadians, those are Canadians that have participated online in the Ministry of Finance's pre-budget consultation. And I invite, as I did in my speech, all members of this House to participate either in that consultation or online because we are here to work together because our bottom line is to make sure that the bottom line of all Canadians is better. Thank you.